All right, so what is good, everybody on YouTube? This is, of course, your boy B, Bullet RC, coming to you guys again with yeah another. Before we get started, I just want to let y'all know, new video dropped yesterday. Make sure you go peep that early heat and delay W. And just to let y'all know real quick, yes, the new colorway utility black of the new paratrooper pants from Sample have dropped on SampleIND.com. Just letting y'all know. Y'all already know we had a few colorways at this point. Y'all already know the deal. I just want to let y'all know before all the sizes sell out. I think the only size sold out right now is size small and everything else should be still available. These were the pants I was actually wearing in yesterday's video so you'll see them kind of on me on body. Anyways, the weekend is almost over so y'all know what that means. It's time to get into this week's heat or hype. Before we get into the latest sneaker releases, sneaker rumors, or anything I want to talk about in the sneaker or streetwear world, that is what we do here today. And remember, if I don't talk about a shoe, either I forgot about it, didn't edit it in, or it was just that. Basura. That I did not want to expose y'all to it. But y'all know I'm still exposed to it. I mean, I mean come on, y'all know. With the climate as it is, this week we did have some new leaks, some new Jordans, some new stuff coming out, some big news in the SB world, some pre-fire SBs, Yeezy news, Jordan news, a lot of different things. We had a few releases, some L's were handed out, some W's were handed out, and of course we have a little bit of Basuda to sprinkle in on top. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get into this week's heat or hype. <laughs> First up for this week, let's get into some of the releases. We had the Stussy and Nike Zoom Spirit and Cage. Now these dropped on Stussy.com. I was one of the people that was up trying to get the shoe when they dropped. And basically I had the size 12 to my cart. I got to a point where I was just waiting to buy them and then they sold out. Good news though, if you didn't get them on the initial release, they are gonna be re-releasing on April 3rd on Nike sneakers, both the Fossil and that black and silver cage pair. So for me, I'm a bigger fan of the Fossil pair. So I will be trying to get this shoe when it comes out. Hopefully I can have some sneakers luck. Definitely not trying to pay resale for this shoe right here, but it seems like a good summer kick. I like the materials and I like Stussy overall. So I tried on their site, you know, no luck. The next one we got is actually a surprise drop of the Nike Adapt Auto Max Motherboard. Somewhat of a long name, but still I think it was a dope shoe. Now I was not able to get this shoe personally. And y'all know recently this shoe just kind of popped up out of nowhere. And of course on Air Max Day, it would drop. Makes sense. Pretty sure the cook groups already knew this was coming. Now the retail is still hefty at 400. Again, almost half a rack. Now at 400, it is still definitely a flex of a sneaker. It's an interesting, well they're calling it an Auto Max or an Air Max shoe. And I guess I'll just have to wait for another colorway to try to shoe out. But again, this dropped on Air Max day on the 26th. It was a shock drop and you know, I didn't get them. It's all good though. I saved 400 bucks. I'm good. The next shoe we got is an October 2020 release. It's another one of those leaks I was talking about. An Air Jordan 8 Winterize, which is the same thing we had with the Air Jordan 4. Now this mock-up comes from House of Heat and I believe Z Sneakerheads. As you guys can see, that full upper is kind of that same perforated leather. It's all over black. And again, it is a mock-up, so it could look a little bit different from this when it does actually drop. In my opinion, it's not a bad pair of eights, but it's nothing that I'm going to be hopping out there to grab. Y'all know the eight is my favorite Jordan, the Aqua 8 namely. But these to me, like, it's black and orange. It's winterized, it makes sense. If they look like this, cool. If they don't, cool. It's not something I really see myself wearing. May I get a pair of review? Yeah, but I don't know, bro. I got other eights I could wear over these. No, they're not winterized, but I just, I like them a lot more than these. Up next, we got another October 2020 release. Now this is the Air Jordan 12 and the Dark Concord colorway. Now again, this is a mock-up, but it looks like to be a black suede or nubuck upper. And then you got the purple at the front. Now y'all know I am a fan, big fan of the Dark Concord purple, which is why I like the Concord lemons more. I even said in that review that I wish there was more of that Concord on the shoe, but obviously it has to be like the retro, like the OG so I get it. For me, it's one of the better 12s, a little bit different. I see we're getting purple more and more in these Air Jordan releases. And I'm not really mad at this pair. Is it again, something that I'm gonna be going for? Uh, nah, is it really a BS colorway? Not really, I mean, it's just, it's black and dark Concord, bro. Again though, the release date on these is October 17th. That could change and again, this is a mock-up, so when they actually do drop, when we get those official photos, they could look a little bit different, but usually the mock-ups is pretty close as what's gonna drop. Now this one is just a quick release update for an Air Jordan 1 that I forgot that was coming out, and that is the Game Royal Air Jordan 1. The release date as of now is May 9th, but everything that's dropping in the next month or two or three, 
don't be surprised if it does get pushed back or it does get affected by what is going around right now that's all i gotta say though it was just an update may 9th is the date on these joints right here all right so let's go ahead and hop into some of these sbs now we got some very interesting ones to talk about this first one is a ben and jerry's and nike sb collab and it's called the chunky donkey obviously like chunky monkey ice cream now this is a shoe that i feel like you're going to either love or you're going to hate to me nike sb is going 500 percent into a theme and they definitely went all in on these and they're just so crazy looking There's so much going on with the shoe if you don't like something that's loud or and crazy and out there this is definitely not gonna be one for you you got the cow print on the upper you have the yellow on the swoosh kind of dripping off the bottom of it multiple different color laces the chunky donkey on the nike sb tongue it's a lot going on with this pair right here and in my opinion i think they're pretty cool now how much would i wear this shoe if i got it I don't know. To me, a lot of the SBs that I do have, it takes a me a while to wear them. Like I wore my mosquitoes pretty quickly once I got them. But for me, an SB is definitely more of a collector's piece. I don't know. You just reach in the stacks, boom. You pull them out, got the laces still attached, and you just look at me and say, yo, these, these is fire. And when the occasion comes that I really wanna break them out, then I'll break them out. I don't know, that's just how I feel personally, but yes, the chunky donkey joints are dropping. Summer 2020, Ben and Jerry's, and Nike SB, pretty cool, pretty cool to me. The next SB we got is inspired by the Grateful Dead Bears. And if y'all remember, I mentioned the Baby Bears a little while ago. It was a shoe that I really did want. It was a shoe that I bought a fake pair of for my barber across the street a long time ago. And I wanted them so bad that I bought them in like a size and a half down. My toes were screaming. Yes, my dad did make me give them back and get my money back. Either way, I wanted a pair of Baby Bears. Now this pair to me is, it doesn't look as good as the baby bears, but it is interesting. It is out there and it is loud and it's probably gonna be the closest thing I can get. If I can get these for like retail to something like a baby bear SB. This is another very loud pair of SBs. and You got this bright green all of the upper with the blue. I know some people are gonna think these are just trash basuda, but for me personally, I'd take a pair. For retail, I will take a pair. And the last SB we have is this one right here. Definitely the least exciting in my opinion out of all of them, but it's not a bad pair. Obviously these look very similar to the Cigar City pair of SBs that dropped years ago. Now, while the Cigar City, I believe was a collab, like something limited, it seems like this release right here is going to be a GR and releasing in June. That's all the information I got right now. And those are the SBs of the week. So let's get to the next one. Up next, we actually got an update from last week. Now this shoe is supposed to be dropping on July 11th and is the light smoke gray pair of Air Jordan 1s. Obviously we only had the mock-ups last week and now we have, I won't say official photos, but we have photos of what the shoe should look like. And you have a gray suede all the upper, you got the red collar and the black. It's the same thing. The only big difference is that instead of it just being gray leather, we have a gray suede on the upper. Does that make the shoe a lot better in my opinion? No, do I still think it's basically a pass? Yeah, I think this is gonna be an easy pass of an Air Jordan 1. Obviously, it's borrowing from the Union 1s. It is a diet Union Air Jordan 1. So I'm pretty sure it'll sell somewhat because of that. Will this one sell out though? I don't know, I'm not too sure on that. That was just a quick update though, July 11th, more photos, we have suede instead of leather. Over the past couple of videos, we've been seeing some good pairs of Air Max 95s kind of come out of nowhere, and now we're getting another OG colorway of it in the pink foam version white, black, gradients of gray, and the pink. Now these retail for 170, I believe they have dropped over in Asia already, but they should be hitting globally pretty soon. That's all I really got. If you've been waiting for the pink foams to return, they are definitely on the way at a retail of 170. Not a bad colorway at all. And again, we've been seeing some dope 95s come out of Nike pretty recently. All right, y'all, so y'all already know what time it is. Let's get into the Basuda of the week. This week, luckily, it was somewhat light and a kind of out of nowhere boot. And this one comes via Grimy Waifu this. on Twitter. If y'all ever seen me buy a suit I haven't talked about yet, feel free to add me on Twitter. Now I'm gonna show y'all a shoe right here. Blank. Somebody did this. I don't know what in the dirty Dan, what in tarnation. I don't know what's going on with these. I'm gonna tell y'all though, when I first seen them, can y'all guess what brand I thought these were from? our friends over at Vetmods. Now I Googled it and I couldn't find it. So Grimy Waifu, if you are out there in the comments right now, please tell me what this shoe is called, 
what is it? Because I personally couldn't find it. This is when high fashion meets country singer right here. In the comments below, I want y'all to let me know who you think would wear these. I think the first person that comes to mind, Post Malone. He might fuck with him a little bit though. So the Basuda of the week goes to the Dirty Dan Fives right here. And that is the one and only piece of Basuda we have this week. And honestly, I'm not mad. It's nice to have a break sometimes from some of the worst garbanzo beans Basuda juice shoes that drop throughout the year. So grimy waifu, appreciate you dog. And let's get back to the heat. Now this next shoe is supposed to be dropping on December 17th. Again, the people out there to get this info. How do y'all have that date already? But December 17th is a pair of Game Royal Air Joint 13s. These are all over black with some blue. As y'all saw with the smoke grays, it was leather. Then it turned to suede. So it's just gonna be a black and blue Air Joint 13. Well, they sell. I'm pretty sure people will be buying them. It's around Christmas time, holiday season. People hopefully will have some extra money in their pockets after this craziness that's going on right now. So it really just depends on when the holiday 11s drop to whether this shoe is doomed to the outlets or it will have some type of legs in the store. As I'm looking at it right now, with that release date, holiday time will probably sell, but I wouldn't be surprised to see this one in the outlets, bro. Next up, we got breaking news from the living meme himself, DJ Khaled, but he did bring us the first look at this Air Jordan 4 metallic pack. Now, we already knew that the purple metallic joints were gonna be dropping, but there also seems to be a red and orange color. So you get purple, red, and orange. All of these shoes look exactly the same. They're just white with the different color accent. Now with spring and summer on the way, in my opinion, it's pretty smart. Are the colorways very, very similar? Yes, but people like all white shoes, especially when it gets hot and now they just have different choices of fours. If I had to pick one out of the three, I might have to take the orange, I don't know. We already got the court purple ones and more purple stuff coming out, so I'm probably gonna take the orange. Of course, the one that I feel like people would buy the most would be the red. Now, there is no set and solid release date for this shoe other than summer 2020. Three pairs, I don't know how they're gonna be dropping. They're gonna drop all at the same time. I would assume that these aren't gonna be limited, and these might make me eat my words because I was originally thinking about passing on the white and purple pair um, but now that it seems like there's gonna be a couple different options I might go for one or I might not because I still have two pairs of the chrome four So we're gonna see it's a dope pair of shoes in my opinion It's definitely a cop in my opinion if you don't have chromes if you have chromes already Then you basically have all these shoes just an easier to wear version of all of them But if you just like all white fours like me you might be a sucker and just buy another pair, which could happen. Next up, we have another Court Purple release in Air Jordan 3 Court Purple. Now, these are supposed to be dropping on November 14th for that regular retail of 190 and they're going to be dropping right before Black Friday, right before the OG Fire Reds. In my opinion, these is outlet specials, bro. The shoe, in my opinion, just doesn't look that good. It's kind of similar to a Black Cement 3, just with a little bit of purple on it. Yeah, nah, this might be a BS colorway. I think I'm gonna call this one a BS colorway for sure. Breaking news. There's another pair of Yeezy 350 V2s dropping. Who would have guessed? This time it's called the Oreo colorway. The Oreo colorway, y'all can see the mock-up right here. Reminds me really of the Ye Shill pair, just with well, less colors. Black, white, and gray. It looks like there might be a little bit of a blue in there as well. It'll probably sell out. Most of the Yeezy sell out. It looks a little bit unique from all the other ones. It'll sell out. And um, that's it. I mean, they ain't bad. Not really heat in my opinion. Uh, maybe once we see real photos, I'll like them a little bit more, but it's cool. It's another Yeezy. I mean, you already know the deal. And then go ahead and end it off. We had a pair of sample Travis Scott Nike Dunk Low SBs appear from Travis Scott himself. And you guys can see the colorway right here is more of a birch and black colorway. And it seems to be very similar to what came out. It just doesn't have that extra bandana over the top of the Cactus Jack Low going all over the shoe. Now, I would not be surprised the same way we've seen it with other shoes where some shoes pop up and oh, it's a sample. They may be gauging interest to see if you will buy it. By the same time, do you really need to gauge interest on a Nike Travis Scott collab? Not really. If it's even a halfway decent shoe, it will sell out. Even if it's a trash shoe, it will sell out. Now, do I like this sample over the pair that Ashley released? I would have liked to have seen what the color would be of the Paisley coloring that covers the upper and then it would be kind of easier. I kind of like the blue, the ones that actually drop better than the sample. But again, it's just a sample. We never know if they could actually drop. And with that being said, man, 
that is it. Much love to all the fam, followers, and of course supporters. You guys can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, SoundCloud, Snapchat. The Snapchat is bull.cb, by the way. Here, there. Plus, well, of course, well, yeah, no shoes. So, bullet RC and... I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Make sure y'all drop a like on this bit. And a new video is on the way tomorrow. Y'all already know how I do. Make sure y'all peep that last one. And I'm going to see you on the next one. Much love. Peace.